It's really nice to be here, and I and I see a lot of uh, folks I've worked with over the years. So first, so it's nice to be amongst uh, folks working to get neighborhood street fund. And I'll talk about that in a minute. So the neighborhood street fund um, is an exist was an existing program before bridging the gap, and it's had between one and a half to two million dollars a year, and and the neighborhood street fund has been used to support projects identified by neighborhoods, and it's gone through a competitive process, and it's been ranked by neighbors themselves from around the city to evaluate where the biggest, uh, the biggest value is in those projects. Again, it's a highly competitive process, many neighborhoods submitted, and it ultimately went through the Bridging the Gap Oversight Committee to determine which were the, 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 the appropriate projects to, find, to receive funding here. There's something unique about neighborhood street fund projects, and I, I speak from personal experience. Um, as a president of the Greenwood Community Council, I um, was a member of the Northwest District Council, and we rated street fund projects. It's, it's, it's not something that shows up on the long-term paving plan or the high priority list, but for people in neighborhoods, it's a priority. So um, I'm really glad to be here, and I said, uh, you know, amongst friends, amongst people I've rated projects with, people I've talked about their projects with, amongst people who've been active in their neighborhoods for years, and, and I just want to thank all of you for your work, for your work doing this. So we've announced something called uh, Walk, Bike, Ride, which is how do we make walking, biking, and transit the easiest choice for as many Seattle residents On behalf of the City Council to celebrate uh, the awarding of these 11 uh, agreements or awards to the various neighborhoods and these awards are distributed throughout the city. This is just one of uh, 11 and I understand that the people from the Broadview neighborhood are also hoping to hear an award for their neighborhood as well so welcome. And uh, this truly is a grassroots effort. It is not top down. The communities uh, throughout the city submit their proposals. They are rated by a citizens group and we're going to hear a little bit from Ref Lindmark, who is one of the volunteers with the Bridging the Gap Oversight Committee. The Oversight Committee is made up of volunteers, your neighbors uh, from throughout the city. And they take their job very, very seriously in, in terms of listening to the community, determining which uh, should be given the award based upon uh, safety and uh, long-standing needs. Like what we did as the Bridging the Gap Oversight Committee when we reviewed these projects. To say we chose 11 projects is really to say that all the projects that we looked at were really good projects. When you ask citizens what they want in their community to make it a better place to get around, invariably they look around for sidewalks, access to schools, access to stores. They want to be able to be able to get to a bus stop so they can get downtown. And rarely do they put in a project that says they want a bigger road. And almost always they put a project that makes it easier for, for themselves and their families to get around. And over the years, the bridging the gap, I mean, the, the neighborhood street fund projects have gotten bigger and bigger. And eventually we ran into a problem where they were, these are big, expensive projects. And when the bridging the gap committee was put together, it said we wanted to honor that process these, and these concerns. And so the projects that we, we looked at are citizen generated. They go up through a process of the district councils who review these and they rate these. And then they come to the oversight committee. And this year we sort of got involved and said we, we really want to put a sort of a citywide review of this. And our group went out and looked at these projects. And it's interesting, when we went out to look at these projects, we stood here just like you're standing here. And I remember John saying he was up at a project up in the up by Lake, up in Lake City area, and he sat and watched a, a daycare school of kids trying to walk and navigate and a street. trying to meet these, these needs and these, and these hard projects. So um, with that, the proponent of this project, Crenshaw. to everyone, particularly you, um, and your committee for selecting our project, and congratulations to the other projects as well. I, I'm sure you are every bit as thrilled as I am about this project. It's a lot of work to put these things together, and it's just so exciting to meet fruition with it. Um, 